So this tour has been awesome. We've been been out of Hollywood on Dead, and um, we've had a few headliners in between. You see um, kids in Hollywood on Dead shirts singing, pulling with us uh, songs and stuff like that, and vice versa. The new CD is this is amazing. It's really good. Everyone's really proud of it. There's some crazy guitar stuff on there. Like um, there's a track called Born to Lead, and um, we had Dean artist Rusty Cooley come in and and. Uh, do some guest solos and uh, me and him traded off. Like, I think it's like eight bars each and we, we trade off twice each time, so that's super long, crazy solos. That's, that's probably my favorite song of the album. I always loved Dean Guitar since I was a kid. Michelangelo Batia, he's, he's, um, he's, big, he's a big hero of mine, especially when I was a kid, like when I was I discovered him when I was like 14, 15, and it just blew my mind, and that changed my guitar playing forever. Because, um, and, and he, and he was a Dean artist, and um, then I discovered like Rusty Cooley, and his guitar is awesome, and he's just an insane player. And then, obviously, Vinnie Moore, and just, it just, it was a no brainer. Now, this is, uh, it's my signature guitar. This is the first part I type, this is the first one, I think it's the only one there is so far. And, I'm literally in love with it. I want to go an old school hockey stick kind of head start device and um, 24 fret, Floyd Rose. It's got the wolf in my own mic fret because everyone calls me a one wolf. <laughs> and um, I have the Roman numeral in my ace. And um, it's just all one piece. It's the, the body is, is shrunk down a quarter inch all the way around because I'm a short ass, so it fits me. <laughs> the the time of playing the guitars is just like, it's just so easy to make it squeal and just get all your sounds out of it. I kind of, um, I, I kind of associate them with metal, but even though there's a lot of other artists on Dean that aren't maybe so much on the heav heavier side, but um, they just, it's just so easy to make it squill in every part of the neck and it's just, it just sounds, it sounds heavy but it sounds, it has a lot of clarity, it suits me perfectly. I went down to Florida, to Tampa, to the Dean Custom Shop and um, they, they gave me like a, it was like a baseball bat at first, so I could shave it down to how I wanted it. And I kind of based it off of uh, the C550 and um, just kept kept feeling, it. It's, you can feel the truss run, through, at least you could, through the back when you push on it. And if, you can see how tiny, tiny it is. Um, I just wanted it to be like a shred machine. I like guitars that kind of remind me of sports cars, like that is the equivalent. Just kind of built for speed. I'm not a zombie, but I feel like one. The Right Up and Guitar, Guitar World magazine has just had the opportunity to rise and they asked me to do it and I was really excited. I wanted, we wanted to do it for a long time and they gave me six columns. So one column will come out every month. Yeah, I've wanted to do that like my whole life. Just, I love to teach as well. I teach a lot online. Being guitar is super durable. Like we, we throw our guitars all on our heads. Constantly, we like farm around us. We pick them up and like bump them all the time. This one's already worn more, like more like I've hit, I've hit, I've hit this a whole bunch. There's like <laughs> there's like holes in it and stuff. But it just there's the the amount that the amount of shots I've used it in and I like, hit it and bumped it and bumped into a bass player and a guitar player. It's just this it's still like looks brand new. They, they really stand out to me from um, the cars that I've played before because they're just, it was just, it was just a night brain. I, I can't really describe it. It's just how it feels and just how it sounds. And it's just as simple as that for me. It's not, it, it's, it's, I just have to feel it and play it. And if it clicks, it clicks and it did.